Welcome to this Windows channel and this is part 9 of uh, the review, full review of Creators Update. And uh, finally I thought I'd have a little time. In this part 9 is conclusion, what I think and uh, you know how everything is going to go is uh, you know only anyone's guess when it starts rolling out really for everyone. But uh, what do I think about all the things and all the new stuff? Well, okay, let's you know be fair for the average user. This um, with this upgrade, once it's done, pretty much no one will see a difference. Everybody will look at their desktop and say, um, "What's the difference?" And uh, of course, rightly so. There's not a lot of visual changes in here. Lots of under the hood changes. And you know the add of uh, new apps and revamped apps, but you know most people don't use the apps. And most people don't really go into the settings much, so they won't really see a difference, um, really, in the creators update. Now, everything about what's happening here is also going to be on the rollout. You know, this is a big Windows update. It, it's a major install. You know, anniversary update. Uh, I think hopefully gave a lesson to Microsoft uh, in just saying, look, uh, your rollout wasn't the best that it could be. And, um, you know, hopefully this time it's going to be better and people will actually have a better experience upgrading. Uh, the tweak of the setting is interesting. I mean, uh, they've done, you know, an interesting job in changing things. Uh, we, we see that they're listening to some of the feedback, but what do you do? Um, and, and I think it's cool. The uh, new um, security the Windows Defender Security Center is uh, nice. It's a it's a good effort. I think it needs to be tweaked a little more because you know when uh, you find things that you can't really switch off the alert, it's not cool. I understand you wouldn't switch off an alert for a virus. That's okay, but I can't understand you. You cannot switch off a device performance alert if you want. That one is a little weird. Um, but you know nothing much. The creators update, uh, you know, pretty much what's creators in here is a Paint 3D app, which is a cool app. But I mean, come on, who will really use Paint 3D app? Um, not really a lot of people, I don't think so. And uh, I, you know, with with just a Paint 3D stuff, I'm I'm still wondering why they're calling it creators update. But that's Microsoft, you know, and they do things like that. Lots of. Uh, possibilities with the unified update platform that will be rolled in with this meaning smaller downloads hopefully uh, less problems in the possibility that it could break your install if something goes wrong or less of a chance that something goes wrong because of that um, that's also something we are hopeful for um, I want to ask you after seeing my nine part review what do you think about a creator's update? Nice, good, could have been better, could have had more you know, features, or did, there are things that you know you could change. For example, there are inconsistencies in the um, different options. So we get transparencies that you know can can work here, for example, on the action center, transparencies in the start menu, yet they don't seem to be able to you know, do a transparency everywhere in the different menus. So it's, um, you know, not always the case. Uh, kind of interesting when you think about it. Cortana improvements are fun, um, you know, but still, uh, Cortana could probably do more. And uh, what I wish for the next version, um, I think we are entitled to have, um, you know, a better experience in the settings, less cluttered interface in, you know, removing slowly the control panel, putting it into settings, putting it in, in, in or really in orderly fashion. You know, it's a great, great time for Microsoft now. If you're doing a new settings panel, it's a great time to take that control panel and clean it up uh, because it's the control panel has always been a cluttered interface that, you know, we're used to because we've used it all the time, not because it's easy to go through. And, um, you know, that's an experience. I think Microsoft Edge pretty much mature in this uh, new uh, creators update with, you know, EPUB reading and everything. I think Microsoft Edge now has a good browser to use. Uh, that's going to be interesting to see. Well, the market share of Edge change or anything? I uh, don't know. And uh, so, you know, um, apart from that stability is great. 
I mean, uh, it's Windows as always. You know, and the Windows 10 operating system for me and um, for pretty much everybody, Windows 10 has been a very solid operating system. Very, very solid. Um, you know, apart from, you know, some people having problems, which is really a minority when you look at the... Um, at the statistics and at how, how people have problems, you know, it's a small percentage, but it's a percentage that voices their frustration. So that's why we see it all the time. Uh, you know, people have the impression, oh, yeah, but you didn't look at the blogs. Everybody's complaining. The everybody complaining are the ones that have problems, which is the small percentage, which is, unfortunately, the ones that voice the problems. Somebody has uh, no problems. They're not going to say, hey, it works great. They're just not going to voice their own comments. Apart from that, great operating system um, let's hope the distribution works good and that uh, after that with unified update platform it gets better if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up if you have any comments questions suggestions let us know hope you enjoyed my full review of the creators update and of course coming in the next week tons of videos of highlights of the features of creators update also